Hello and welcome everyone to Theorycraft, the series where we take concepts and make theoretical techniques to accomplish the goals we set for ourselves. In this episode, we're going to be investigating the possibility of teleportation in vanilla Minecraft. I'm going to split this video into three parts once again. In part one, we will discover some of the history of transportation mechanisms in Minecraft. In part two, we will discover the basics of teleportation in Minecraft. And finally, in part three, we will discuss some of the possibilities using our basic understandings discovered in part two. Since the very beginning of Minecraft, People have been asking the question, how can I get from A to B in the fastest possible manner? There has been continual development over the past three years of transportation systems that are super duper fast as the game changes and evolves over time. People started with minecarts and minecart boosters all those years ago, but with the release of pistons in beta 1.7.4, new designs started to flourish. With community advances in understanding of the Minecraft code and entity hitboxes, faster and faster methods of travel were invented. These ultra-fast methods of travel, however, were considered as game-breaking bugs by Mojang, and in their defense, a huge amount of them were. They were simple to make, and let you travel at neck-breaking speeds, faster than minecarts or any other kind of transportation at the time. Then came Snapshot 13W16A, and horses were released, and overtook the transportation systems in Minecraft. Horses are easy to use, fully controllable, and were faster than minecarts at the time. Now there was no need for minecarts, they were pointless, when you could use a fully controllable horse. The fastest travel was still with pistons being able to reach up to 20 meters per second. But horses were just a hell of a lot easier to use and required no preparation. Then came Snapshot 14W11B and minecarts got a massive boost in popularity once again since minecarts could now travel at 20 meters per second as fast as the fastest piston contraption. But what about teleportation in Minecraft? Is it possible to go from one place to another instantaneously? What if I told you that teleportation had already been done on multiple occasions in Minecraft? Teleportation has been done over massive distances in the past using special chunk loading mechanics. The idea is to throw an enderpearl into the air and unload the chunks before the enderpearl hits the ground. Then the player can use redstone to reload the chunks and the enderpearl will once again hit the ground. When the enderpearl hits the ground, the player will teleport to that location. This is an extremely simple form of teleportation. However, it isn't SMP friendly. But, if you play on a single player world, check out Pi 3141592653589789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789789
Piston B pushes its block out. Thus, we've traveled two blocks instantaneously. Now, ultimately, one could expand this infinitely. If someone found the correct pattern, they could make a completely tileable design. If this is done, we could push a block a huge distance instantaneously using pistons. After finding out this information, I teamed up with Cellulance, an expert in zero tech technology, with a few ideas of my own, and we worked together to create a truly repeatable pattern which allowed us to teleport a block 502 meters away instantaneously. If you want to check that out, download the contraption, and try it out yourself, click on the annotation on the screen to be sent to Cellulance's video. Don't worry, it opens in a new tab so you can return to this video afterwards or watch Cellulance's video after you have finished this one. So the question is, can Zerotic pulses push entities such as the player? The answer is, sadly, a resounding no. However, this still tells us something very important, and that is that it is possible for things to travel from A to B instantaneously. So this is where I want to call out to Moyang. I say embrace this technology. The way I see it is there are three types of viable fast transport currently in Minecraft. The first kind is horses. Horses require virtually no Minecraft experience. They only require a quick Google search to find out how to tame them and no setup time and are thus the simplest kind of quick travel in Minecraft. The second kind is minecarts. Minecarts have been buffed, and it is great that they have been. Minecarts are for intermediate players. They travel fast, much faster than horses, but require a bit of setting up time and Minecraft knowledge before you can use them. The final kind is redstone transport using pistons. These are the hardest to set up and require a lot of redstone knowledge, time and effort to build. The fastest piston-based transport for entities is 20 meters per second, which coincidentally is as fast as minecarts. I feel this shouldn't be the case. I feel the most complex form of transport, piston transport, should be the fastest and optimal form of all travel, and I feel that redstone itself should be the key to unlocking instantaneous travel. So I urge Moyang to embrace this technology and give us the gift of teleporting by allowing entities to be pushed instantly by pistons using this zero tick piston quirk. However, to the rest of you watching this video, this is not the end of our hopes of teleportation around the Minecraft world. We have shown that it is possible to transport some things in Minecraft across the world instantaneously. But now I must leave it to you to find a way of teleporting players themselves across the Minecraft world instantly in survival Minecraft. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of TheoryCraft! Please support me with a like if you enjoyed this video, and leave your comments down below.